Hey everybody, it is Tanya, Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to episode two of Death Pile Shopping and Listing. So in this video, what I do is I pick five items from my death pile of jewelry and I list them here with you guys so that um, you guys can learn how to list if you're not familiar with how to do it and also to get an idea for what I'd like to pick up and sell. Uh, so if you are new here to my, my channel, I'd like to encourage you to hit that subscribe button and also click on the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I put out brand new videos. All right, so let's get right into it. The first item I have in my jewelry box today is this really cool bracelet. So whenever I got this bracelet, I want to say it came in a jewelry jar, but I really wasn't sure. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't really recognize anything. I just knew it looked like it had some countries on them. I think I have it upside down. I do. Okay, so now you can see. So there's Paris. Um, what are some of the other ones it says? I can't even really read them right now. Normandy. Anyway, I did a little research, and quite literally all I did was type in... Uh, I typed in some of the countries. I put like Paris, Normandy, and silver bracelet into the search engine, and um, it actually returned a result, and one of them came up. So let me share with you what came up. So I was looking on WorthPoint. Let me shrink this down. Okay. All right, so I was looking on WorthPoint, and I found this one here at the top, you guys. Um, this one right here, it sold for $45 back in October, and it looks exactly like mine. So let's take a look at it real quick. So I was super excited to see this, especially since I got it in a jewelry jar. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's exactly like mine. There's some close-up of some of the pictures that says Flan Flandre. So what it is, it's, so their title reads, A Vintage Coat of Arms Bracelet, Flandre, Flandre Paris, Alsace, Normandy, Souvenir of France uh, Bracelet. Okay, so, um, yeah, so, like I said, here's mine, and I've already taken the pictures, and we are going to go ahead and list it. I did want to show you, I did pull some up on, let's see, on eBay here, and that's actually where this one sold for $45 back in October. Um, now, these... Pay attention, you guys, because these can go for a lot of money if you find the right ones. I saw one for 190 Look, there's like, looks like a little, um, I thought it was a slide bracelet, but it's not. So it's a vintage sterling, this one right here for $150, uh, Canada, Canada provinces. And there, look at this one. There's one for $190. But I also, I did want to click on the solds, too. So let's see what happens when I click there. And yeah, it looks like some of the people that were asking a lot, I see similar items going for a lot cheaper. But that's okay. I am patient and I'm willing to uh, hold on to the piece for a while if I have to, uh, to get the price that I'm looking for. So yeah, and look at this little bitty rinky dink little bracelet sold for $119. It's a vintage silver European enamel lucky charm bracelet, clover dice coat of arms. So yeah, and I don't see one exactly like mine that sold. Say, so is that one mine? Let me look. No, that one's not mine. And I don't even think that mine is, um, I don't think it's silver either. I mean, maybe it is. I'll have to do some more research. I wonder if the one that they said on uh, Worth Point, let's see what they say about it. This is a vintage made in France coat of arms souvenir bracelet. It has the coat of arms for, I'm not going to say all those. It appears to be brass with a silver tone metal over the brass. Okay, so that's probably how I'll list mine as well. And I'm going to list it, I'm going to cross post it on eBay as well. So I'll put it on Etsy first and then I will cross post it on eBay. So I, did, I didn't find out how to share my iPhone screen whenever I'm doing a movie like this, but I did figure out how to record my screen and I can insert it into the video. So we're going to try it that way today and see what you guys think about that method. So um, let me go ahead and hop over to my iPhone and I'll show you guys how I do my listing on Etsy uh, via the Etsy app. So let's go do that. Okay, y'all, real quick before we get started on that first listing, I wanted to share with you guys some links. Um, 
Here is my link on Instagram. I hope you guys will go and follow me over there. Instagram is the best way to get in touch with me uh, via direct message if you guys need to ever message me about anything. Um, the second thing I wanted to share with you guys is my Etsy store or shop, my Etsy shop here. I hope that you guys will come over and uh, favorite my shop and I try and uh, follow or favorite everybody back too. So um, I am Couture Outdoor on Etsy as well as eBay too. <clears throat> and the other thing I want to tell you guys about were a couple of Facebook groups that I run. Uh, this one is called Thrifty Jewelry Treasures and this is also a good group. Oh, look, there's Anita. What is she talking about? <laughs> this is also a good group to um, come over and, you know, post your pictures and ask questions or just share some of your favorite pieces of jewelry. Uh, so that's a really fun group. I hope you guys will come over there and join that. And then also, if you guys like to sell on Poshmark, I have a Poshmark talk group here on Facebook as well. So I'd love to see you guys over there. So without further ado, let's get into listing the first item. Okay, item number two in my jewelry box today is going to be this very simple uh, pearl plastic beaded necklace. Now it doesn't have a designer name on it, but I figure it's definitely vintage. Take a look at that clasp. Uh, so I did a little bit of research, not a ton, and these kind of clasps, I guess they're called like, are they called fish hook? Anyway, they get me, I just don't understand how they work. But yeah, I guess somehow or another when you get ready to wear it, you latch it on there like that and then you push it back into that little, uh, this little gold thing right here, whatever you call that. I don't even know what you call that. <laughs> okay, so let's see what kind of research I brought up. Um, now I did a search on Etsy for, let me see, what did I type in? back up here purple bead necklace now do you guys say whenever okay I need to know this when you guys list beaded necklaces do you say like for example purple bead necklace or do you say purple beaded necklace um, I don't know if it makes a difference and when somebody's searching for something or not but 
I don't know. It seems like I do like 50-50. Sometimes, I guess whatever comes to my mind first is what I usually will enter for that keyword. But I'd be curious to know what you guys, how you guys list it. So um, here's a real basic one. It just says vintage purple bead necklace. So I think I'm going to call mine, um, I think we're going to call this a vintage 80s classic purple uh, graduated bead necklace because the beads are kind of graduated. They get bigger and bigger towards the center. And I feel like this would also be a really good necklace to have it because Easter's coming up next month and somebody might want to wear this with their uh, Sunday dress to church. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this listed. So let's go over to my iPhone screen and we're going to use the Etsy app. Okay, sorry that last uh, screen recording of me listing the purple beaded necklace was so um, janky. It was because um, I tried listing it and for some reason it wouldn't let me load the shipping uh, options, the profiles, and it wouldn't load my shop sections for some reason. I've never seen it do that. So I had to uh, delete that and start over again and I just wanted to make sure it was going to work before I filled in all the description. So that's why I kind of went out of order on that last one. Uh, so let's get to the third item in my jewelry box today. So we have a necklace, and it is this really pretty white beaded, white and gold beaded necklace with a really pretty gold shell pendant on there. And this is actually by Trafari. I'll show you the back there. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then also on the clasp, it has the T, the little classic T. And <clears throat> I did pull up some comps, so I'm going to show you my research right now. Now, a second ago, I tried to record this, this part, and my, my video, the sound started echoing real bad. I don't know what was going on, so I just started over and do that, too. Okay, so here are some completed auctions that I did on eBay. Uh, looks like they're going for anywhere from around $20 to $30, uh, ones that are similar to mine. And here are some that I pulled up on Etsy that are available for sale. So I think I've decided the number that I'm going to go with for this is going to be $29.99. And here are some that I pulled up on WorthPoint that actually have already sold. Uh, here's one that sold for about $25 back in 2015. Uh, here's one that sold for $40. So I don't know. What do you guys think? $29.99 or $39.99? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I'll go ahead and uh, get this listing up. And if you guys think it should be priced higher, I'll just go back and change it. So let's go ahead and get this item listed.
Okay, guys, item number four. Another necklace. So this necklace is by Monet. And it is, oops, I'm trying to fix it here so you guys can see it good. So this is what it looks like. And immediately when I picked this up, the first thing I thought in my head was bamboo. It looks like bamboo. And sure enough, that is indeed what they call it. So <clears throat> I did a search to see what they were going for. And here's a little Monet hang tag. Let me get this so you guys can see it. You're not going to be able to see it. My MacBook doesn't really adjust very well, but trust me, it says Monet. So let's pull up my research so you guys can see. Again, with the worth point, what I have started doing when I want to immediately find whatever I'm looking for is I have found that it helps to put what I'm looking for in quotations. So Monet bamboo necklace at the top, just like that. So sure enough, it returned a bunch of results. And I see a lot of, looks like they did this same bamboo piece in different, uh, different shapes and styles. Here is one that sold for $20.51 back in uh, March of 2013. Uh, there's one on eBay that sold in 2014 for $22.75. Um, so it seems to me like the going rate, there's one that only sold for 12, but you know what? Sometimes if you don't ask a lot of money, you can't make a lot of money. So if you sell yourself short, just know that you might not make as much money. Um, and like I said, jewelry is small, so I'm willing to hold out. I can wait for it to sell. So let's see, here, here is Etsy, and here are some that are available. Here's one, uh, they're calling it a Monet Bamboo, Bamboo Bar Choker Necklace. And here is another one, it looks like this piece, they're asking 54. And they have really good pictures. I feel like if your pictures are really good, you can sometimes ask for a little bit more as well. Uh, just because your item looks fresh and clean, uh, I think that people are willing, more willing to buy your item over one that might look kind of dark and dingy uh, for their picture. So, um, and the black, black background is nice too. And I wanted to say, and I forgot, on my last uh, listing that I did with this Trefari piece right here, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my pictures, I did it on a black background just because you can't make uh, a picture look good on a white background with white beads and, and gold like this. It just wasn't going to look right. So that's why I chose to do the black background for that one. Um, for this one, I think I just did the white background. And I think I'm going to list this for, I'm debating $20 or $24.99. always like to say the 99 because... Somehow, I think that's like a mental trick. If you say $25 versus $24.99, people think that, you know, they're getting a better deal for $24.99. Like, it's a proven fact. That's why you see all of these big, big box stores doing these type of things. <laughs> so that's why they don't just put flat out $25 on it. They'll always end it in, like, like Walmart. They always do, like, $15.88 and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one listed. It'll be a surprise what I list it for. We'll just have to see.
Okay, finally, we are ready for item number five out of my death pile of jewelry. Uh, before, but before I show you guys the last item, I want to show you guys this Monet book. Now, I bought this book a long time ago. My friend Angie over at Treasured Vintage here on YouTube, we bought our books about the same time, and she has become a Monet aficionado. Like, she is so smart. She knows so much about Monet. And um, the last time we talked, I told her I've maybe cracked open my book two, three times at the most. So, but I did open it just now, and I was looking for that bamboo, uh, that bamboo bar necklace, and I didn't see it. Now, I did skim through it pretty fast, uh, so that was a bummer. But there is all kinds of uh, neat Monet pictures in here and interesting facts. So if you guys want to check out this book, I will put the link down in the description box and you can uh, purchase it on Amazon. It's a really cool book. So um, that's that. But like I said, that is a whole nother rabbit hole. I could get lost in that book just looking at all the pictures and everything. So the next item, um, I went ahead and took it out of the jewelry box because I wanted to put it on here so that I could show you guys easily. They are earrings and they are golf themed. Got a little golf club bag there, a golf shoe. What else do we have? Um, a little glove. So just super fun earrings, right? Now I have sold earrings like this before and the brand was Wata. It's spelled W-A-T-T-A. -T -T -A, and they usually go for pretty good money, about $35 a pair. Um, but these are marked here on the back. Or maybe it's on this one. They don't say Wada. They actually say, I know you probably can't even see that, but I wrote it down. They say KCFA. So I was wondering if KCFA and Wada are somehow maybe the same company. Maybe somewhere down the road they changed the name of their uh, company name. I don't know. I did pull up a website here. I was going to do a little bit of a uh, Research, but I thought, you know what? There we go again. That's another rabbit hole. So I just can't get lost in all this research. I just, that's how I, my, my mind operates. Like, I just want to know, and I start looking here, and I start looking there. I was like, just stop, Tanya. <laughs> so what I've decided I'm going to do for the listing is I'm going to put in, I will say KCFA space, and I'll just put the word WADA. That way people know um, if they're looking for WADA earrings, they'll see the, these will come up, and they basically look exactly the same. Like I said, I think that they're the same company but I'm just not gonna get lost doing a whole bunch of research uh, because that defeats the purpose of doing these videos, which is supposed to be a super fast five a day. <laughs> so um, let's go look over here on WorthPoint. Let's see here. So uh, there's a whole bunch on WorthPoint, KCFA. Uh, here is a pair that sold for $50. It says, Art Artisanal, couture, whimsical, artistic art. Uh, here's a pair, $35.99. Animal Barnyard, those are super cute. They sell for $31. We got a, a dangly clown and star that sold for $25, $24. So again, um, especially if yours is the only one like, like it available, I feel like you can ask more. So I have decided in this short period of time <laughs> I am going to list mine for um, probably $39.99. And here's the pair that's available on Etsy for $36. It looks like that one is school bus themed, maybe. And then I tried to find some on eBay, and I didn't find any at all on eBay. So, um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get these listed real quick. And uh, then I'll come back and talk to you some more.
Okay, so we have got our five listed for the day. I did 10, but I meant to do this. We got our five listed for the day. So that is awesome. I hope that you guys are joining me over in the uh, challenge. And I want to show you guys my listings up. So here again is my Etsy shop. And here are the listings that we just created today. So we have the uh, KCFA water golf themed earrings, the Monet bamboo bar necklace, the vintage Trafari necklace, and the simple classic purple beaded uh, unbranded necklace, and then the vintage coat of arms uh, bracelet as well. Now, this, this little pair of Avon cat earrings I actually listed first thing this morning when I woke up. I already had the pictures on my phone, so yeah, I went ahead and listed those. So you guys, if we do like five a day, uh, 30 times 5, what is that? 3 times 5 is 15. That's 150 new listings per month. That would be awesome. So, um, yeah, we can do this. Did I do that math right? Let me think about this. So, let's see, 5 a day, 7 times 5 is 35. 35 times 4 is what? 35 times 4, 21, 12, 13, 14. Is that uh, 140? Oh, well, fuzzy math. Something like that. <laughs> We're getting a lot more listings up than we had before, right? So let me know if you guys are participating in the challenge. I'd love to hear about it. How are you doing? Are you getting five done a day, two or more? And also, I want to let you guys know I've been getting some questions about um, how I'm listing and my pictures and whatnot. And I figure maybe one day next week we can compile all of those questions and maybe I'll go live and we'll just answer all of those then. So yeah, keep asking me your questions. Know that I'm not ignoring you, but that we will uh, set aside a, a certain time and we will get those questions answered for you. So thanks again for watching and be sure and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.